I would like to make the following statement today on behalf of the four IU members of the Security Council, Belgium, Estonia, France and Germany, and Poland, and former EU members of the Security Council. We are fully committed to the transatlantic partnership and value all efforts, including by the United States, to help find a peaceful resolution to the Israeli Palestinian conflict. We have taken note of the proposals presented by the United States with regard to a resolution to this conflict. In line with the long standing EU position, we remain committed to a negotiated two state solution based on 1967 line with equivalent land swaps as may be agreed between the parties with the states of Israel and an independent, democratic, contiguous, sovereign and viable states of Palestine living side by side in peace, security and mutual recognition. The US initiative has presented on 28 January depart from these internationally agreed parameters. We reaffirm our readiness to work towards the resumption of direct negotiation between both parties to resolve all final status issues, including issues related to borders, the status of Jerusalem, security and the refugee question, with the aim of building a just and lasting peace. We call on both sides to exercise, restrain and abstain from any unilateral action contrary to the international law and the re-engage to negotiation. We condemn all acts of violence against civilians, including acts of terror as well as acts of provocation, incitement and destruction. We reaffirm our concern about Israel's settlement activity in the occupied Palestinian territory, which is illegal under international law and constitutes an obstacle to peace and two-state solution. We are also deeply concerned about potential steps toward annexation after repeated calls for a possible annexation of areas in the West Bank. The annexation of any parts of the occupied Palestinian territory, including East Jerusalem, constitutes a breach of international law, undermines the viability of two-state solution and challenges the prospect for just, comprehensive and lasting peace. In line with international law and relevant UN Security Council resolution, we do not recognize Israel's sovereignty over the terrorist the territories occupied since 1967. We will continue to engage with the party and relevant stakeholders to revive a political process in line with international law which ensures equal rights and which is acceptable to both parties. We also reiterate our commitment to security of Israel, including with regards to current and emerging threats in the region. I thank you.